I wanted to make a quick video to show you the proper procedure for shutting down your grill. And that is not turning it off and going in the house. Uh, what you're gonna do is you'll end up calling me because the next time you go out to start it, your pellets will absorb moisture in some form or fashion. You're gonna get a thick white smoke that's gonna come out. And if it gets too thick, and once the fire does ignite, you're gonna get what we call in the industry a burp. This burp sometimes can be so bad that the lid might fly open. Uh, on the 670 model, the door might swing open. Uh, it's, it's not something that you want to uh, take a chance on. So I'm gonna show you the correct way to, to, to get it shut down. So the perfect way to do that, would you, which you would be cooking, you'd be at the end of your cook. You would take your, your meat off, cover it up, take it in the house. Leave the grill cooking, leave it on. Then you'd come around. You'd put your bag of pellets here or another bucket or container, whatever it is that you keep them in to keep them dry, very important. Your pellets are the fuel for your entire machine. If you add water into your fuel on your car, what happens? It's the same kind of concept. So you'd place your bucket here, you'd pull this out, and it would dump all the pellets that are in, left inside your hopper. But there's one thing that you need to remember. You still leave it on as if it's still cooking. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna continue to run the auger screw. So you, now you're gonna let, there's about a four inch, a four inch piece right here. We want to auger out those pellets that are remaining in there. Once you can take a look at it and see that all of the pellets are out, which just takes a minute for that to happen. Then you would be able to come in. Those remaining pellets would be in your fire cup. You would turn your controller now down to cool down. It'll run for 15 more minutes.